Welcome back to the United Kingdom. I'm Sean Preville, and in this edition of the Mediaplex British Beat, I decided to take you all to the Chatham Historic Dockyard, where ships were built, repaired, and manned in battles as far back as the Spanish Armada, the Falklands Crisis, and the World Wars. So I'm going to take you to see all the different sites there are to see, including the smithery, the ropery, and the historic warships. So let's go. The Chatham Dockyard supported the Royal Navy for more than 400 years, first opening in 1547. The first ship was launched from the dockyard in 1579, and this continued all the way until 1968. Afterwards, its primary purpose became a repair facility until its closure in 1984. The Chatham Dockyard Charitable Trust eventually took over in April 1984 to preserve the site and educate the public, with several museums featuring various artifacts from the site's history. The dockyard currently sees an average of 170,000 visitors a year. One of the big features of the dockyard is the ropery, where rope has been made on site since 1618. Chatham is one of only four original naval rope yards in operation, and the main ropery building, which is more than a quarter mile in length, was built back in the Napoleonic Wars. Three historic warships are also on the yard, with the oldest being the HMS Gannett, dating back to 1878. In addition to the Gannett, the Second World War destroyer, the HMS Cavalier, and the Cold War submarine, the HM Ocelot, are also on display and open for tours. Duty manager Scott Belcher says what draws many to the dockyard is the family connection. Particularly anybody who's sort of local southeast, if you trace your family back far enough, you'll find somebody who was in the Navy or who worked at the dockyard at some point. So there's that family connection, but then it's, it's an interesting place for any period of history from the 1500s right the way up to, to the, the Cold War and, and the Falklands conflict in 1982. There's just a lot of, of boxes ticked by different parts of the site and its history. This year is also the 250th anniversary of the launching of the HMS Victory, the oldest commissioned warship in the world. Pieces including the Victory's figurehead and a decorative sword are on loan, as is the Nelson Bullet, which hit Vice Admiral Nelson on the ship's deck during the Battle of Trafalgar. Belcher says the dockyard is always bringing in new exhibits to bring in people from all over, including those who might not usually visit. It, it doesn't appeal to some people. I think it appeals more when they get here and they realise the scope of what we've got. So those exhibitions are are designed to bring people in who wouldn't normally come. Thank you for joining me on this tour of the Chatham Historic Dockyard for this edition of the Mediaplex British Beat. From Chatham in the United Kingdom, I'm Sean Preville, back to the Mediaplex. Until next time.